pick up, please. Two seven four. Two seven four. Where are you? Hello. Two seven four. Hello. Yes, two seven four. That's me. Where are you? What? I'm talking to two seven four, right? Yes. That's me. I'm two seven four. Who are you? Who am I? Yes. Who do you think I am? I'm your office. Oh yes. Where are you? I'm cruising. What do you mean? This is son. I got a job for you. If you're in the area, I think you're in. Where are you? I'm just cruising about. Don't cruise. Stop cruising. Nobody's asking you to cruise about. What the fuck are you cruising about for? 274. Hello? Yes, that's me. I want you to go to Victoria Station. I want you to pick up a customer coming from Boulogne. That's what I want you to do. Do you follow me? Now, the question I want to ask you is this. Where are you? And don't say you're just cruising about. Just tell me if you're anywhere near Victoria Station. Victoria what? Station. Can you help me on this? Sorry? Can you help me on this? Can you come to my aid on this? You see, 274, I've got no-one else in the area, you see. I've only got you in the area. I think. You follow me? And this is a good job, 274. He wants you to take him to Cutfield. You're meeting the 1022 from Boulogne, a European special. His name's McRooney. He's a little bloke with a limp. I've known him for years. You pick him up under the clock. You'll know him by his hat. He'll have a hat on with a feather in it. He'll be carrying fishing tackle. 274. Hello? How's your motor? Is your motor working? Oh, yes. So, you're sitting in a capable car. I'm sitting in it, yes. Do you have a driving wheel in front of you? Because I haven't, 274. I haven't got a choke or a gear lever in front of me. I haven't got a cooling system and four wheels. I'm not sitting here with wing mirrors and a jack in the boot. And if I did have a jack in the boot, I'd stick it right up your arse. Listen, 274. I've got every reason to believe you're driving a Mondeo. I would very much like you to go to Victoria Station. In it. That means I don't want you to walk down there. I want you to drive down there. Right? Everything you say is correct. This is a Mondeo. Good. That's right. And you're sitting in it while we're having this conversation, aren't you? That's right. Where? By the side of a park. By the side of a park? Two seven four. Report the office in the morning. One three five. Where are you? One three five. Where are you? Don't leave me. What? Who's that? It's me. Two seven four. Please don't leave me. One three five. Where are you? Don't have anything to do with one three five. He's not your man. I'm your man. I'm the only one you can trust. Do I know you? Two seven four. Have we met? Well, it'd be nice to meet you in the morning. I'm really looking forward to it. I'll be sitting here with my cat and nine tails, son. Do you know what I'm going to do with it? 
I'm going to tie you up, bollock naked to a butcher's table, and I'm going to flog you to death all the way to Crystal Palace. That's where I am. I knew I knew the place. I was sitting by a little dark park underneath Crystal Palace. You see the palace silhouetted against the sky. It's a wonderful edifice, isn't it? My wife in bed, probably asleep. And I've got a little daughter. Oh, you've got a little daughter? Report to the office at 9am. 135, where are you? Where the fuck is 135? 246. 178. 101. Will somebody help me? Where's everyone gone? I've got a job going down in Cutfield. Can anyone hear me? I can hear you. Who's that? 274. Here. Waiting. What do you want me to do? You want to know what I want you to do? By the way, there's something I forgot to tell you. What is it? I've got a P.O.B. You've got a P.O.B. Yes, it means passenger on board. I know what it means, 274. It means you've got a passenger on board. And that's right. You've got a passenger on board sitting by the side of the park. And that's right. Did I put this job? Well, where do you want to go? He doesn't want to go anywhere. We uh, cruised about for a bit, then we came to rest. In Crystal Palace? Not in the palace. Oh. You're not in the palace? No, I'm not right inside it. Because I think you'll find the Crystal Palace burnt down years ago, old son. It burnt down in the Great Fire of London. Two seven four. Yes, I'm here. Drop your passenger. Drop your passenger at his chosen destination and proceed to Victoria Station. Otherwise, I'll destroy you bone by bone. I'll suck you in and blow you out in little bubbles. I'll chew your stomach out with my own teeth. I'll eat all the hairs off your body. You'll end up looking like a pipe cleaner. Get me? Two seven four. Miserable, freezing, fucking office, and nobody loves me. Listen, you fight. Yes. One three five, one three five. Don't have anything to do with one three five. They're all bloodsuckers. I'm the only one you can trust. You know what I've always dreamed of doing? I've always had this dream of having a holiday in sunny Barbados. I'm thinking of taking this holiday at the end of the year. Two seven four. I'd like you to come with me. To Barbados. Just the two of us. I'll take you snorkeling. We can swim together in the Blue Caribbean. In the meantime, though, why don't you just pop back to the office now and I'll make you a nice cup of tea? You can tell me something about your background, about your ambitions and aspirations. You can tell me all about your little hobbies and pastimes. Come over now and have a nice cup of tea. 274. I'd love to, but I've got a passenger on board. Put your passenger onto me. Let me have a word with him. I can't, she's asleep in the back seat. She? Can I tell you a secret? Please do.
I think I've fallen in love for the first time in my life. Who's you fallen in love with? With this girl in the back seat. I think I'm going to keep her for the rest of my life. I'm going to stay in this car with her for the rest of my life. I'm going to marry her in this car. We'll die together in this car. So you found true love at last, eh, 274? Yes, I found true love at last. So you're a happy man now then, are you? I'm very happy. I've never known such happiness. Well, I'd like to be the first to congratulate you, 274. I'd like to extend my sincere felicitations to you. Thank you very much. Don't mention it. I'll have to make a note in my diary not to forget your golden wedding, won't I? I'll bring along some of the boys to drink your health. Yes. I'll bring along some of the boys. We'll all have a few jars and a bit of a sing-song. Two, seven, four. Hello? Yes? It's me. Listen. I've been thinking. I've decided that what I'd like to do now is to come down there and shake you by the hand straight away. I'm going to shut this little office and I'm going to jump into my own car and I'm going to pop down there to see you to shake you by the hand. All right. Right. But what about this man coming off the train in Victoria Station at 10.22 from Beloit? He can go fuck himself. I see. No. I'd like to meet your lady friend, you see. And we can have a nice celebration, can't we? So just stay where you are. Seven four. Yeah. Don't move. Just stay exactly where you are. I'll be right there. No, I won't move. <laughs> <laughs> 